Welcome back to the City Buzz. This time of year really sucks. Everyone is sick. I'm sick. And that's why it sounds like I'm holding my nose right now. But you know what? It is okay because we are in for a treat. We have local artists who opened up her own small business, Juliana Sophia Studio, Jenna Pierandosi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I'm so happy you're here and you're working on... It's a surprise. A surprise. Yes. I it's, very... It's no questions. No questions. You'll see at the end. Listen, I'm not even going to pay attention to what you're doing because... I can't even draw a stick figure, and you're, like, painting while you're talking to me, so here we are. Um, tell me how you got started. Was art always something that you enjoyed as a kid? Yes. So I was always um, I was always gifted. Just kidding. I was, I was <laughs> always super into art, um, like, from when I would say maybe, like, third grade. And I was – and I actually remember – the piece that I was so into, I was drawing Mary and Jesus in like a nativity scene. And I got like my first compliment. And I, from then, I just like really was like, this is just everything to me. And I took it so serious from that point forward. And I always made sure I was in some sort of like after school program growing up, like in high school. And then obviously I went to college and did it. But, you know, moving just to go back, I always was like just so young and, and so into it so so the first artwork you ever did that made you excited and like yeah. proud that you wanted to do this was a mary and, and like jesus. jesus nativity scene yes i'll never forget what about like an artwork that you've gotten paid for so like we went from you as a child and now you older yeah. what is your first artwork that you've gotten paid for so it's the first thing I ever got paid for, I was in college and it was a project I had to do. And I painted a, um, a hand holding a wine glass and I was at Stogie Jews and I was sitting there and somebody, um, somebody recognized me and they were like, oh, like Jenna, like you do art, or whatever, because I was posting things at that time. And they asked me what my most like, recent thing was. And I was like, oh, I just painted this hand with a wine glass. And they said, you know what, you know, have you ever sold anything before? And I was like, no, I never have. You know, I never actually. And he was like, well, I'm going to buy that piece off of you. Wait, that is so nice. I know. It was so nice. It was like. <laughs> Wait, that's so sweet. Isn't that so sweet? It was like, I was so excited. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, somebody loves my artwork. Yeah. I'm like, now I'm thinking back. of like, do they still have that piece right now? <laughs> they definitely do. They I hope so. And then when Jenna becomes Picasso, I, know, and like, like, I have Jenna's first. You got to sign it. <laughs> I know, I know. And that was like, it was like the craziest feeling, especially because, I mean, I always worked my whole life, but something that you're passionate about, that you're doing and, and getting paid for that, it's a whole other like, instead it's of a like. a great feeling. Yeah. Right. It's like a great reward. Yeah. It's like, I always did restaurant jobs and things of that nature, but, and obviously you get paid because you're working, but it's different when you're doing it when you're getting paid for something that you actually yeah. are trying to like become, you know, and, and do. So it was neat. Yeah. Well, I know that, you know, you do a beautiful job. We have things of yours in my house. You, yes. you painted my son's piggy bank with Winnie the Pooh. Yes. I wanted this so bad. You have no idea. We did like a Winnie the Pooh bedroom for my son. Right. And I was like, you know what? Something's missing. Like, regular piggy banks were just not catching on for me yeah right so i was like jenna needs to make denny a piggy bank and you did a beautiful job it's in his bedroom and then you did a d with like like the little the matching was the, the, yeah the matching one winnie the pooh like theme and as soon as you were the first person like that's what really kind of like catapulted that whole like you know i can i should start making absolutely an business out of what I'm doing and that piggy bank was the first piggy bank I ever did wait I did not know that yeah that was the first piggy bank I ever did and when I posted it from then I sold so many piggy banks but that and, makes me so happy even that like theme too like yeah are like oh my god Winnie the Pooh like that's great and I did I did so many of them and Winnie really the Pooh's a classic you yeah. can't go wrong with Winnie exactly <laughs> like even like it's a beautiful like nursery um gender neutral gender exactly gender neutral um, so I really did sell a lot of them and it was neat cause it was, 
such a perfect thing to have in my portfolio. Like, yeah, very different. Not. Yeah, so you actually were the first. Oh, yeah, yes. look at that. Here we are. I love it. I know, and here we are. So it's so touch on the name um, of your business, Juliana Sophia Studio. I know that's your daughter. Yes, and it's my daughter. Tell me why you named this after your daughter. So, okay, so Juliana is um, my heart and soul. Um, I was going back and forth with the, the thought of, like, should I do it in my personal name? Or should I just, uh, or should I, should I do it in her name? And I seriously was like... I want to um, work for something that means she means the most to me in anything in this world. So I'm like, I will work my hardest. And I'm about talk. to cry. Yeah, <laughs> I am. I will work my hardest knowing that she is the face, she's the name yeah. of my my company. And not that like, yeah, I don't work hard for myself, but like, she is the meaning behind everything that I do. So I'm like, I need to dedicate this business. And I'm Too like hard. literally and they, tearing up. <laughs> whoever my second child is is burnt. <laughs> they did <laughs> <they, they, laughs> nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Maybe they, just like uh, or their uh, name has to be like Sophia if it's a girl. Yeah, was, that's like, it. To figure that out. <laughs> but but for now, yeah, she's just. I really wanted to make sure that I. It's a motivation. It's, it's a motivation. It really is, and you know, it's day in and, and day out that she's my world and, and I'm like I everything I do is for her so yeah that's why I mean that's really why I choose Juliana Sophia I love that it's so beautiful I really started tearing up because I truly felt that like wholeheartedly like you, yeah. with having my son um you know I was I used to perform every weekend like you know you've known me for years yeah, and right. um I needed some time to myself and I stopped doing music for a little bit I needed to grow because I didn't really have much of a childhood besides up until I was like 14 years old, 13. Yeah. So once I had Denny, I kind of, it's not that I lost a piece of myself, but I felt like I couldn't be the best person for him until I was like, you know what, I, I need to also do something for me. And I feel like yes. people, as mothers, we feel like our focus just needs to be a thousand percent on that child. But if we're not also happy and doing like these little things like a small business and you're doing your art, which makes you flourish and we're creative people. Right. So like you doing that and me singing or doing something like this really makes us flourish as a person. And that also goes into us being a mom. You have to have like a great mindset. To be a mom, it's that is the truest thing, and and that really like resonates with me because when I had my daughter, I I stopped the art. I was totally I totally stopped, and I seriously got into like a deep depression because and not that you know, it doesn't mean we're not dedicated exactly mothers if we're you know trying our hand in something else or we're kind of just getting back and of like the swing of things, the swing of things, and doing things that make you happy like even it's just like working out or, or whatever the case may be it has to be something for, for us creative yeah and i started doing it again i seriously i did a 180 from what i was when i had her my like depression mm -hmm. to who i you know absolutely I, I, it I bounced back you know yeah you feel like you you got that spark again yeah it's it's the truth i really i really did and it's like you get you become yourself again. You really do. Now, many people talk about this because they feel like when they talk about it, they feel like I'm going to portray as a bad mother. But no, it's not that. We right. we have to carry this child. We have to, you know, care for them every day. And it's our greatest gifts. Yeah, It really is. But like I said, the mindset is, is it. And if you're not doing something for you, whether that be working out, doing something creative even if it's just like meditation if seriously it's it's taking like kind of just like removing yourself not even removing not removing yourself as a, as a mother but just kind of like mo removing yourself from that space for a minute and and solely focusing on you it's like it, it makes a world of difference of who you are as a person and, and as a parent and as a wife yeah exactly uh, you know it, it even goes in hand in hand with how it you does. are in your relationship too. it's if you're not yourself and if you're not healthy 
it shows it, it really does yeah. and i mean god bless you you are a full-time worker yeah you're a mom you're a fiance yeah you have your own small business i don't work full-time i can't imagine juggling that like touch on that for me because i i see people posting all the time and i don't i i don't know how i would do it it's it's truly I mean, I've been doing it for so long now that it's kind of like, I don't, it's not hard. I mean, don't get me wrong. It is hard sometimes, but it's, I have such a good schedule now. And then, yes, I'm a, I'm a full-time worker. And, you know, you get in your, first you get in your morning routine and then you, with your, with my daughter and you're making lunches for, for daycare and then you're going right to work and, and your mindset is solely focused on, on your work. And then you come home and it's baby time. Cook, cook dinner for your family. Like such a Clean rush and all of that. There's such a rush. There's so much of that, and you want to spend time with you know your yeah. child. And then it's like put her to bed. And you also need to be present for your significant other too when you're together. You know exactly. And um, we've gotten a great swing of certain nights. I'm I'm like solely dedicated to my artwork and you know and like a certain see. day. Yes, yeah, a certain day. Um, and then it. But this goes on until, like, I'll paint until 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Like, it's, I am, like, I found a nice balance. Like, it's much lack of sleep, but it still, it works for me. It, and, you know, I'm, I'm making it, I'm just, like, hustling as hard as I can to make sure, like, I can bring this, like, company to, or this business, should I say, like, to next level. But balancing all everything is, it's. It's a lot, but it's it's worth it's it. Worth it because it doesn't feel like it. Because there's purpose behind it, and it's not just like this like mundane thing. There's purpose behind why my life is set up so jam packed now. You know, routine is very important. Yeah, um, I'm gonna die. Like literally, I keep clearing my throat. <laughs> I like to look at my lips. Like, Jenna is on drugs. Just good. Janet. <laughs> okay, so the reason why she's up all night and painting is because your teeth cause heavy drugs. Uh, not facts, not facts. This is all fake things. <laughs> Make sure you got this. Yeah. Or don't cut it. We're done. We'll say. Um, so, no. I, I forget what where we were, but we can just stop that. <laughs> no, glow. We, we just have to get on to the next question. Well, that make sense? I feel yes. like I don't make sense. No, you made perfect sense. Let's just. My mom's going to see it and be like, you sound like an idiot. No, you don't. I sound like I smoked a pack of cigarettes. All right, good. So, Jenna, um, I saw that you also do murals. Yes. The first one that I remember seeing is Stake Em Up. Yes, I did Stake Em Up. Um, I painted uh, his logo on um, his wall outside. Uh, that was like the first like, large scale painting. Uh, I do all my stuff freehand as well. So it was like a freehand painting and it was it was really that um, kind of started my love for those large scale mural paintings. Um, I, I also did um, organ stakes um, inside the, or, um, their establishment inside. I did a it's whole Phillies Phillies theme, um, not Phillies, Philly sports theme. Um, and yeah, and so I'm currently working on Holy Cannoli. Holy Cannoli, it's, it's Cannoli Spa in South Philly and they're opening up um, one in Collingswood now. So I'm, I'm currently there, so. I'm really excited about that one. It's it's turning out. Uh, I saw a little maybe, little, yeah, a little, uh, clip. little clips. Yeah, very excited for you. Yeah, I can only imagine the differences between, um, you know, doing stuff like right in front of you, like smaller, yeah. compared to like a very large scale. I'm sure, yeah. it's very different. It's a different mindset. It's a different like preparation, uh, tools that I'm using. So it's it's just a whole. It's it's just a different mindset to go from something so small to something so large so i'm just sure uh, that that's like really so nice to see though because people who walk into these businesses see your artwork which is so cool like i've gotten um it's fun because right now obviously argon steaks is the one that's probably the most people coming in and out of and and it's fun to see um people taking photos in front of it yeah and, and you're like oh I that's my that. yeah. that's what i did yeah right well i'm so proud of you because you know, that's not an easy thing to do. And you do it so great. And you do it like so calm. Like you just yes. have your, it's all about doing something that you love. Right. So I'm like really happy that, you know, you get to do these really cool 
things that are yeah. actually going to be around forever. Yeah, right, which is like such a neat, like that's yeah. so great, like concept when you really think about that, like stuff that I make it stays there. It's, it's forever, you know. That's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. So name some of the things that you sell, that you make. Um, I know that a big popular one are the uh, champagne bottles. You made one for my cousin, which everyone was so blown away. Like, Thanks, it, it looked good. dead like the picture. No, it was, it did turn out really nice. It turned out beautiful. Like, sort of toot my own horn, but like. It did. It really turned out really nice. Um, the champagne bottles are like super popular, especially with engagements and, and weddings. Um, it's a timeless gift and it, you could do it for anything. It is. And it's, a, it's perfect for um, a bar cart or you know, your kitchen, um, dining room table, really anything. It, it's because it's not tacky looking. No. It's, it's it's such a nice, like, piece to have. Um, and it's it's for, like, milestones or, or celebrations. So it's just nice to have. I already, told, I already told my cousin, I said, when you get married in Disney, Jenna's making you another one I, with your wedding picture. Yeah, exactly. And we're going to put, like, she's going to have a little, like, series. She is. I know. Things. And I literally said, I said, this is perfect. Because it was so her, and I, she was loving it. And, and I, I, like, thinking about it, I so want to do something for somebody, like, they're in, go through, like, everything with them. Their engagement, a wedding one, uh, maybe, Babies. like, a baby one, you know? So I thought that'd be cool. So we, call, Okay, look so at that. Don't tell your cousin. Make sure she has a lot of this because she knows what she's getting. <laughs> oh, now. I already told her. <laughs> okay. I was like, I'm going to get you this for your wedding. Yeah. Just, I, that's, me and you really think alike. We do. It's a creative mind. It's a creative mind. It that's has exactly to be. what it is. What is something that you're most proud of? Like one of your artworks that you are like, wow, I can't believe I made that. And so this is incredible. I, so recently I just, um, I did a jean jacket um, for um, Marissa Campan uh, Campania. Um, she's a hairdresser and she was uh, invited to do the hair at the Super Bowl. She owns full, less finished. Day. She does. Um and she came to me, she saw my artwork, and we collaborated on an idea, and she wore my jean jacket, and it kind of, like, blew up. There was so much the positive feedback. Which and, you're making some jean jacket exactly. over here. <laughs> and, these are, and the jean jackets are truly my favorite thing to do. I love working on them. Um, and But the Super Bowl one was such, like, an exciting piece because it was just – a piece of your work it's almost like a flat stanley <laughs> like she wore it and she you know wore it somewhere and it was such like a obviously Big Super Bowl is, is the biggest you know event yeah in who doesn't America. love the super Bowl? so it's and she's wearing it there and so many like she, she was saying celebrities and, and and coaches and and people and family and players like everybody was just like oh my god your jacket is amazing and you know it's, it feels good it's like it's super reassuring like reassuring that what i'm doing um, it's not just because South Philly is such like a tight community. It's not just like South Philly people exactly being like, Jenny, you're so, you're great. so great. But it's it. She took that jacket out into a place that nobody knew us, and yeah, you know, going up to her and and just complimenting it. So it was it was neat. It, it really was. It was that, a great I, feeling. It really was. I was I was super proud of that. You should be proud of yourself because I saw what it looked like, and it was beautiful. I love. Thank you. The touch that you did um, with the scissors. Right, yeah. The, that was really cool. Thank you. We're going to show the picture of that as yeah. well in the video because yeah. I thought it was very creative. You have a very creative mind, and it's really nice to collaborate with someone else. It is. I'd like, you bounce ideas off of each other. And and to an extent, you could say that she's a creative mind, too. So Absolutely. It was nice that, you know, I had her, you know, feedback, I mean, input in – um what she wanted it was nice to bounce off of each other absolutely she's you know she was very into it so and it's fun to have a client like that where they truly are like trying to get their vision like they have a vision and you put it and you're able actually creating that so yeah because it's cool. like it's easy to have like a vision but um not all of us can be an incredible artist like Thanks. like no, i said me i would never never yeah. i can't even my son i i he loves to draw, like right. like he loves to write, like that's his thing. Like at nighttime, like to calm him down, we we draw. Right. 
This poor kid. The only thing I could draw is a happy face. And he's like, mommy. <laughs> he's probably going to be able to draw a better happy face than me in a, like a couple months. He's going to be so scared. Like, yeah. mommy, what are you doing? Like, is that even a happy face? Just kidding. I tried to draw an apple. I gave up. Like, it's embarrassing. <laughs> so. <laughs> we need to find someone else to teach you this. No, it's okay. We don't have yeah. to. We, you could do all the professional work. There you go. And we could just print out pictures for Denny. Exactly. Um, so I need to know your biggest influence in your life. It doesn't have to be for art. It could just be anyone. Just the first person that pops into your head that is the biggest influence in your life that made you the person that you are today. That wow. keeps you going. Okay, this is hard. All right. But if I'm going to say the most cliche answer, and it's seriously my parents, and they are like, first of all, they're two of the most opposite people in the world, but they truly like helped guide me um, into the person I am, I guess you could say. And like, there was, there's such a nice balance of like, my dad is so smart. Um, and he's, he knows so much. He has like so much wisdom. And then my mom is like the m most perfect mother, like you can actually have. And, and together they really like between my mom and having such a role model in, in becoming a mother and having such a fantastic mom with the combination of my dad and, and what he knows and then and what he's taught me and my siblings and everything it's just been like they they're just the best like inspiration and, and role models i guess you could say like they made me who i am so i so, know yeah. of your parents yes um your mom sat with me i believe at nicole carrigan now walker's okay <laughs> baby shower yes. um she cracks me up. Your sister is incredible too. Like they, yeah. your whole family just makes me laugh. Like your vibe, your energy just keeps me going. And we are like a funny family. Your like dad not... though, his smile is infectious. It is. He's like, he is. A, he's very hard. Like hard. I mean, like strict. We were. We were. Um, he was a very strict parent with us growing up. But once you like got to know him, like on a personal. He is like, like he's the funniest person ever. And you know, like, talking about like strict parents, like yeah. Guess what? I'm when we were teenagers, right? Yeah. Who, who didn't want to hang on like twelfth and Renner? Yeah, right? that was the place. To, that was the place to be. Hey. Um, and <laughs> I mean, my dad figured out before there was like find my friends that I was at Twelfth and Ritter with Nicole McAfee and the whole Epiphany crew. Okay, he's scary. and <laughs> he's like, yeah, oh, and no, he. He got out of the car and ripped, ripped me by the hair and drug me no. in the car. Talk about embarrassing. Like He was so strict. Yeah, too. like, but guess what? It's okay because when you look yeah. back on it, it made us like the people we are today. Oh, absolutely. And I'm happy with the person I am today. Like, I can wholeheartedly say, like, my parents did mold, molded me as well. Yes. And if they weren't that strict, I could, I would probably be on their I-95 right now. No. <laughs> This took a turn <laughs> for the worst of podcasts. I would be dead. Right on their I-95. I mean, right on their I-95. <laughs> no, but it's so true. And it's like, sometimes I look back and like, I thought, I mean, my parents were strict. I was never allowed at 12th Ritter. I remember one summer, everybody was at 12th Ritter and they're like doing all these things, like playing games. I don't know what else they were doing, but I I really don't think we were playing games. I no. really think that everyone was just... Hanging on a corner. Hanging on a when corner. Kids just don't do that well, anymore. See, they just they drink at the age of eight now, and they drink inside their parents' house. Which like, is, what is what what is happening? I know, which is like okay. so scary <laughs> as a parent now, like to think. But like, I remember everyone was down there, or it, that was a couple blocks from my house. But I spent that whole entire summer playing solitaire by myself because i am no i remember my score i was like 72 wins and 52 losses no okay i was just not allowed there you know and and i think one time i like my dad was like you can go for a little bit like while it's still sunny out yeah. and then that it was like short-lived i had to come right home but well the yeah. cops are always cold but like now like looking back i'm like I would never let my child no. do certain things either the way they would. I, I like I know I'm going to be a strict mother, and I my fiance he's 
like going to be probably triply worse as my father, you know. So Juliana is going to. I have it ten times worse than Where me. I think for me, I'm going to be super strict because I see children walking in Target by themselves, and I'm like, wait, it's crazy. Why are Why are you doing that? And like, my husband's like, yeah, when Daddy gets older, he can have his first beer at like 13. I'm like, yeah, that's funny, not happening. I'm not happening. Yep, we not know happening. where you're from Second Street, but that ain't happening. <laughs> like, Daddy's going to be locked in a dungeon. <laughs> like that's the same thing with the being my, with Juliana, like. I think about it and I'm like, oh my God, she's going to have it really hard because I'm going to be like that crazy mom, you know, and not even crazy, just like super strict. And I have like another funny, like strict story about like parents. I remember it was my soft hop and like everyone was sleeping at like someone's house. Like it was a guy, girl sleeping, like the guys and the girls were sleeping at like one person's house. And my okay. parents were like, nope, not happening. They called up Vince Cassini no. because they knew Victoria would be with me. And no. my dad and Vince planned for me to sleep at Victoria's house. So we had Victoria, me, Deanna, and your sister, Marissa. Yeah. I still have pictures. Are you serious? That's serious. The Giussini. <laughs> the Giussini. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, I remember that. Like, our parents were so strict. That and, is so Yeah, funny. and your sister was there. And I still I have, like, Marissa a book. Well, Marissa was there. Like you, you guys were at my 16th birthday party. Yeah, like it's awesome. so crazy. I still don't remember when we met. It had to be at I know like, the Epiphany Christmas parties because I was like the honorary member okay. of Epiphany School. You were the honorary member, <laughs> but like, isn't it so? Because I was like trying to think of when me and you really, but I can't remember. I just, no. I just can't remember. And then I remember you playing basketball for Epiphany. I did. And we were rivals for an Association of Epiphany. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh, please, I sucked. No. <laughs> I know, I remember you playing basketball. Yeah, but. my dad was the coach. I broke my ankle. He wanted me to suck Pete playing. Like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, basketball in grade school and, like, CYO basketball. We were, like, really competitive. We were super competitive. <laughs> like, it was no joke. No, CYO basketball. Like, I'm not kidding. There was no joke. Like, I remember no. what school? It was St. Richard's. It was to get in the playoffs. Okay. <laughs> and I remember it was me and this girl, Tierra. Like, I guess the whole rest of our team wasn't that good because I was. Nicholson. Yes. I, I still keep in touch with Tierra. Do you? Okay. Yeah. Shout out Tierra. Yeah, Haven't yeah. seen you since high school or grade school. I'm not really sure which one. <laughs> yeah, she but does. she was awesome. Like, she carried that team. Oh, she I was, was just like the little helper because I sucked. She, was but the, she really was. She good. was. She carried the whole team. But I, I mean, remember for some reason they decided to throw in someone that wanted to tackle me. No. I broke my ankle. Tierra had like scratches up her arm. I don't know who. Wait, did St. Richard's? St. Richard's. They were vicious. Like, they were so vicious, right? They wanted to get in the playoffs. Yeah, wow. Well. I remember this was at Murphy Rec. Okay. And, um,. I get I get on the floor, right? My dad's like, get up, get up, right? <laughs> like my ankle, right? No. You Take wrong. your foul shots. I made one of the foul shots. All right. Joanne Please. McAfee comes in because you guys had a game right after, and Nicole you was on the team. I always remember this. Joanne's yeah. screaming at my dad. Like, you can't let her go back in the game. Yeah, right. My dad's on tie my like, shoe. There's nothing wrong. <laughs> Meanwhile, her ankle's like <laughs> sideways. <laughs> he makes me walk. He bur we go to the hospital, walk from the parking lot. No. So I think my ankle was broken. This, the, my team won by one point. It was my fail shot. Because you're a fail shot. Fail See, shot. That was right. But then, but then after that, we lost. So <laughs> Because I couldn't play anymore. But Tierra had no one to help her out. No. <laughs> well, guess what? See, why we were. Shout out to your dad for making you push through. Push through. My dad had me playing all these kind of things at Saya. That's going to be another episode in itself. Yeah. Saya days. Oh, you need five episodes. Five episodes. That. But yeah, it's That's CYO funny. sports molded us, though. It really did. No, it, it really did. And like, because it, like, not to get, like, deep about CYO baseball. <laughs> I know, but, like, like, we're talking about CYO baseball, you're an artist. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> okay, this is a chaotic episode, but um, it was so, it really, like, taught us from a young age, one, um, like, routine and being regimented because we did have, we had practices all the time. Yeah. And they, it, it wasn't so, like... 
oh, just go and have fun. Like they wanted us to know the importance of working hard, winning. I don't know. It was just, it really, it was so serious back then. It was, it was so like, serious. And it did set at least me up because I took it to high school. I mean, I rode the bench, but that's- <laughs> It's just, okay. I rode the bench, it's but- okay. it, I, it, I took it to high school. You want you want to know what I did? I did the books. Oh yeah, you did. <laughs> I did the books. You did do the books. <laughs> SNG days. You know, we yes. had so we had so much fun in high school. Oh my god, I had a ball in high school. Like the uh, spirit days. Spirit days. Like we used to like make our own shirts and stuff. And that was the best. It's I feel just... like you really enjoyed that part, like making your own things, like the the fun days. And yeah, stuff. I was always just like. You were always just a fun person in school. Like, was, that's what I remember, like, you asked. Thank you. Yeah. Like, you always... <laughs> I was definitely not fun. I was, like, more serious. <laughs> serious. Like, quiet. I was the mascot. Oh, my God, Jenna. <laughs> Are you... You were the mascot. I was the mascot. You were Duke. I was Duke. We you, me and my family just talked about this. We're Duke. Because I got in... You're a legend. Thank in you. In Newman history. That's what I to hear. You are a you legend really in Newman Karate history. The validation that is all I needed. I need there. to find a video of you as Duke. Do you, you have to have one. We need to put this on there. I have a picture. It's very pixelated. So no, I don't know. No, we will but. find one. I'm sure that I recorded it and put it on YouTube because back then I had a camera in my hand yes. 24 7. Um, I was Duke. I definitely embarrassed my whole family, but that's besides the point because my sisters were like academics and. You know, all the teachers <laughs> love them, and he was like, "Yeah, you, like, you were, you were like off. dancing and like making." Heavy. We went to the championship. The championship. At the I sung the national anthem, yes. and you were Duke. I was Duke. I had a dance off with, I, it was LaSalle. I think we played LaSalle, and their I don't know if it was a playoff. No, it was a championship. I did a dance off with. The other mascot, who was like a colonial something, I don't know. So it was just a dog. And yeah, and a he got me because I I crushed. Oh, you were killing it! I crushed this mascot. I love and it. And he punched me in my friend's no. dog face. No, no, I'm not even lying. Like when, in my mind, I'm going, <laughs> "This is the end of me," because I got like white headed. Like he freaking punched me in my face. But while yeah. you're in a hot costume, I was sweating. I was sweating. I'm dancing. I was going. You were really going crazy. I was going ham. And we my in my doll costume, but yes. How did that come about? Did D. Velasco ask you to do this? Yeah, uh, yes, he did. <laughs> like, of course he did. Whoever was originally doing it, it might have been Melina and Diddy. I I don't remember. Uh -huh. Whoever was originally doing it didn't want to anymore, or couldn't, or something like that. And D. Velasco just came to me. And he was like, "We've all spoken. <laughs> We've all you've spoken. been nominated as the new Duke." And I said, "Count me in." Yeah, of course. You were Duke. I was Duke. A Newman Caretti legend. Yup. That is me. Wait, I'm floored that I forgot and now yeah. remember, like it all came back I'm to so me. I'm so happy that you remember that. I did. And that? you, I remember the spirit days, like you uh, were, I, I definitely have a video. You have to. Like my proudest moments are like becoming a mother and being Duke. <laughs> <laughs> it's my job to. Becoming a mother and being Duke for Newman Caretti. Those are fine. Guess but... what? I love it. <laughs> Thank you. I think they're great goals. Yes. And like they're goals. Like goals and also like proudest moments. Yes. There you go. It's, Thank it's you. It's really great. I appreciate you. And you saying I've that your sisters ap academically, I need yeah. to know like the, um, how is it having two sisters and then having a brother? I have two brothers. Yes. I don't have any sisters. I mean, is it true, like, the whole, like, sharing clothes thing, like, people hate each other, like... <laughs> oh, my God. Because you're all close in age. We're all close in age. Me and Marissa and Tina are all close in age. My brother, Anthony... He's younger. Is like, youngest. younger. He's five years younger than me. And, um... Like, your mom had a kid, like, every year. Yeah, they were getting... Her, my... They were getting lots <laughs> like, every year. Marissa? Right? Was... Or what year, year apart. Year, a year apart, yeah. Yeah, 91, 92, 93. That's wild. God bless. And, Marissa is like super tiny, like feisty, and there's like Tina who's super like the scariest person in the whole world. She world. is just not scary. <laughs> Tina is just like, you know, um, smart. Her, I mean, her and Marissa are very smart people, but like Tina's more fun and whatever. Like, um, and then it's, there's me who's silly. I'm like quiet and silly. It's like weird. We have like a fun dynamic. But, um, yes, the sharing clothes thing is true. Mar so picture this. I'm 5'7". Marissa is... Sh shorter. I so much shorter than you. 
two foot seven. Yeah, but she's, <laughs> she's like so super, tiny. No, she's very tiny. She's yeah. like five. If you say if you ask her, she says five one, but she's really barely five foot. And I would borrow her clothes, which was not. I was squeezing in them, and she'd be like, "Is that my shirt?" And I would be like, "So well, she's like a fashionista." Yeah, she's a fashionista. Yeah, it was always her clothes. I she was always had like beautiful clothes like remembering like her she when is, we grew up like she was always dressed beautifully she was always dressed and had like very nice pieces and i would steal them and i would steal them and she would flip out because obviously they were expensive i was buying like joyce, joyce leslie. leslie i was i was joyce leslie joyce girl. leslie was me too and marissa was like express Wait, you are doing amazing. You're not supposed to walk me. It's really hard because it looks beautiful so far. Thank you, but don't walk. Okay, I'm again, trying, I'll try my best. Uh, <laughs> so you're a fiance. We touched on this. Yes. Juliana's daddy. Yes. Um, how is this dynamic with your family? Like wedding planning, like the whole nine yards. Like how did you guys even meet? Okay, so. A uh, lot of questions all at once. I right? know. So he, um, he fits in super well with my family. Um, he's loud, fun, uh, opinionated, <laughs> super opinionated. Like, Does him and Tina fight? Do him and Tina? No. They, no, they don't fight. Because there's no politics involved? There's no politics. <laughs> okay. But it, they're on the same side of politics. Gotcha. So, okay, so they're more so like, like agreeing works. Yes, exactly. Okay. Um, but, you know, he's, um, he's great with everybody. Um, so it was like a perfect match, I guess you could say. Um, we met, um, we met, I was the manager of, at the time, Tanky's Tavern when it was on, um, was it 17th when we met? Yeah. Yeah. So I was the manager there and he was, um, friends with the owners and just like everybody that was coming in. And that's really, that's started off and that's how we met. And then a couple months later, COVID happened. So we kind of just like... Had no choice but to but hang, to out, hang out with each other. <laughs> yeah, but it was it was just something that. But we were inseparable from the from the start. Well, COVID so, was good for something. COVID was yes, exactly. <laughs> so, um, and that's where it all started with me and him. So I love um, that. And he's like, um, such a supportive fiance um, with all this stuff. You know, he's very busy himself. He has his own construction company. JP Square Construction. Shameless. Oh, okay. JP <laughs> Square Construction. Shameless plug. Love but, it. Um, Wait, you have the same initials. Well, that's why we did that. So wait, I love this. So this is amazing. That's why, like, when we met, um, COVID happened. Then um, he started his company once things like started opening up, and we were trying to think of a name. And then he was like, "Okay, we have the same initials." JP squared. It's like and when two. you get married, yeah, you don't have to change, change your initial. anything. Yeah, well, yeah. Your daughter has the same initials, and that was also purposely done because we all have the same initials now. Um, oh my god! So we're just going to be like a family of Jane. Wait, <laughs> at this point. Okay, forward. so that reminds me, Frank, Frida, Frankie, Phil, Felicia. F that's my family scene. Oh wow! Well, so everyone's yeah. FP besides Philip. He's the apple. But he's the best one out of us all. Okay, so, so <laughs> there you go. What do you guys? <laughs> but it's the F sale because my mom wasn't going to do Frederick. No, you can't. Like, at a, well, that's, what, <laughs> that's what we're thinking. We're like, okay, the there's if, so many jewel, J names. Well, not really. Like, if you really break it, if down. it's a girl, don't use Juliet because that's my name. <laughs> okay, my Juliet. Well, what your Juliet? <laughs> Do not. <laughs> but no, I'm probably kidding. not having any more children after Denny. <laughs> no, no, I want like a million kids. But really, God bless you because I don't think I could do it again. I, I just like I. Like, Did you love being pregnant? Um. No, if I'm being honest, I, I hated, hated it. being pregnant. But I love afterwards. Afterwards, yeah. Well, after you first have a baby, that's the worst part to me. The first two, the first two weeks, are traumatizing to it, your health. Yeah, it's it's not fun. But but that being said, like you do forget about all that at some you point. You do. When the doctors told me that, like you're gonna forget about when I said I'm never having a kid nope. again. They said, oh, you'll be back in here within two years. That still, nope, not happening. Yeah. Daddy's going to be two. I ain't back. Yeah, but no, I, I had the opposite. Like, I seriously was like, I don't even care. Like, this was just the best time of my Like, it really just was the best time of my life in hindsight, even though the pregnancy sucked. Yeah. Because I had I had a lot of, like, nausea and he's throwing up. And I had every symptom you could think of. Mm -hmm. um, but I just loved it. So, yeah, I want, like, a million more. I really do.
or I wish as as long as we could afford it. But that's you know I know because everything's so expensive in this world. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. Like, but well, you have your daughter, and then you also yeah. have your nephew. Oh my Michael. god! Yes, the other love of my life. He is so cute. Yeah. We went to Nicole's son's party. Okay, yes, Nicole's first birthday. And Michael was so sweet to Denny. Yeah. Oh my God. I have a video of them playing with each other. Yeah. It was so cute. And it's just so crazy. Like when you think about it, like all these kids that like we all grew up together and now these kids are all growing up together. It's so crazy. It's like, so crazy. I get emotional when I think about things like this. Me <laughs> too. Like, and, and it's, it's wild like to see. But not every place is like that. It's only because we're from South Philly. It's, tr it's true. Like, it Everyone knows each other. You really do see generations of mm -hmm. families and, and people, whatever, and, and friendships grow up together. It's it's crazy because you can't, you don't really, you don't get that anywhere else. No, you really don't. like you're in Ciara's wedding. Yes. You've known Ciara your whole life. Yes. So like, that's a beautiful thing. Yes. The people in her wedding, like I know Deanna's in her wedding. Yeah. These are all people that you've known since you were. I mean, we've all been friends for literally. Epiphany, Nubigretti, like. And, and everybody's just so intertwined and it's 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 really the, the coolest thing. Not many about. people get that. And no, we are lucky, I think. So many yeah. people wanna like move out of the city and I get it, like, but. On the other hand, like I don't because you you're not gonna get this. You can't find the the camaraderie and, and the the tight knit the community. community. You can't you can't find that anywhere else. And I was thinking about that even with like my business. You know, you could start a business, to say like in the suburbs or wherever you could be at that point. But you're the support I get here and the word of mouth referrals and it's just such a. Like, it's such a close-knit community where everyone's so, like, rallies behind each other. And, and it would be different if I started this business elsewhere. Like, I think I would have a way slower start. And yeah. Here, it's so nice that we're from here because it's just like you have a built-in business. You really a built do. built-in business. And, like, just say, like, what I did. I was like, oh, I want Denny to have a – what's it called? The piggy bank. And I thought of you automatically. Yeah. Like, like, it's – Everything's at your disposal here. To yeah. Whether that's Listen, anything. We have artists. We have construction workers. We have electricians. Like, like you know, it's really funny. Like yes. back in the day, like everyone's like, "Yeah, you got a guy." You got right. We all got guys because everyone does something in it this is, city. It is the truth. Like you. Um, okay. Did you ever see that video? I got a guy. I yeah, got a guy. Right. Like I mean, like, we resonate with that because we, we all do. we all do. We all do. We like you said, construction electricians. Um, a bakery. bakery, business owners, like restaurants. Okay, I work for a cement company. Yeah. Mark Cement. Oh, oh, I didn't yeah. know you worked there. Yeah. That's your full-time job. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm saying like, it's just like everybody's like, oh yeah, you can use this one, use yes. that one. Or where to mount. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, you're all there. <laughs> all that. everybody. It's the truth. But it's, it's, it's the truth. Everybody does something, has their hand in something. We all like use each other and it's it's cool it really is cool like, that's a big reason why i started this because i was like you know what i want everyone to know like the amazing people that we have in the city yeah the list of people that i have written down is like eight pages my brother looks at me and he's like how are we doing all these people like but i want everyone's story to be told like that's the reason why i wanted to do this whole thing Which like it's such a great like, and like you, like you're literally doing art right in front of me. This is nuts. And I'm sorry, I keep looking, but I'm very excited. Oh, <laughs> All right, so Disney That's Channel Days. Okay. All right, Disney Channel Days. Um, so, females. Okay. <laughs> Demi Lovato, Selena Gomez, Miley Cyrus. Kill Demi. <laughs> I can't stomach her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't even, that. I don't even want to answer the rest. We're just killing Demi. We're killing Demi. <laughs> Why do you hate her so much? <laughs> she is so annoying. She's always wants to be in the news. She doesn't know what she wants to be in life. Like she's just like a mess. She's <laughs> so she's a mess. That's it. <laughs> she's a mess. Okay, so she's she's killed. She's killed. Um, Mary Miley. That would be a fun relationship. That would be so much fun. And then you can kiss Selena. Kiss Selena. A little smooch. A little smooch. A little smooch. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, Poor Selena. <laughs> All right, this one's like out of pocket. Okay. That's like, funny. I know you know, like, these people from your nephew. Okay. Okay. Batman, Superman, Aquaman. Okay. <laughs> Marry Superman. Because he can protect you. Kiss Batman. And then kill Aquaman. Why would you kiss Batman? Why? Is he mysterious? He's so mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> and like forget Aquaman. Know. I was like Aquaman's not even like cool. No. That's why we're killing him. He's dead. But All this- are they isn't that like Jason Momoa? So when I was first doing car- I'm thinking about cartoons, which okay. is actually really scary. <laughs> When you All right, so it. you just answered the cartoon version. Okay. All right, yes. let's answer, like, the people version. All right. Because Aquaman's, like, popular right now, and everyone says that um, Aquaman's hot. I'm choosing... If it's real people, though. Real I, people. And Jason Momoa, like, we're choosing... Him. We're choosing him. For the marry or kiss? Oh, for the kiss. For the kiss, okay. And then we'll kill Batman, and I guess whoever Superman is... We're just going to, we're just going to still marry him. We're still going to marry him. Okay. Thank you, Jenna, for hanging out today, being on this episode. Um, I really enjoyed going down memory lane, speaking about your amazing business. Like, you're so talented. And, like, just, like, grade school. We went to Catholic grade schools. We went to high school together. We went to the same college, you are. It's, like, it's so crazy and, like, just the South Philly community as a whole, like everyone supports each other. So yeah. um, I'm just really grateful we got to talk. I had so much fun. Yeah, you know, we always have great laughs. I know. So I really um, do, and I really appreciate you having me. Oh, of been course, so yeah. And who trolls and does this? Like, makes a jacket <laughs> while they're getting interviewed. Like, yeah, that's amazing. Thank um, you. tell everyone. If everyone can understand what I'm saying, since my nose just is so clogged right now, um, oh, tell gosh. us uh, how they can find your your work, how they can buy your work. Yes. So um, I do have an Etsy account. It's Juliana Sophia underscore studio. Um, should I spell it? I can put that at the bottom okay. for you. All right. I guess. Yeah. I'll go back. So um, I do have an Etsy account. It's Juliana Sophia studio. Um and my Instagram is the same handle, Jul- Juliana Sophia underscore studio. Um, DM me to place orders. Um, my, I did actually open my books back up, so I do have availability over the next uh, month or so. So um, I'm excited to meet and talk to potential clients. And I love that. Yes. It makes sense for you guys. Yes. And you are the best of the best. Thank you. Um, If you have a special occasion, Jenna is your girl. She could make any vision come to life for your special gift for that special someone. So thank you so much for everyone for listening, subscribing, and watching. And remember, keep your eyes on the city and your ears on the buzz.